Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. So today what I'm going to do is a another karma video. This one has been requested by tons of my new subscribers. Um, and we're going to do a part two to the what is the karma of the third party that interfered in your relationship. Okay, so guys, I have three piles. Pile number one is black tourmaline, pile number two is citrine, and pile number three is adventurine. You guys take a second, uh, focus on whichever crystal calls out to you the most, and once you have your crystal chosen, down in my description box is where you can fast forward to your crystal, okay? Alright guys, so let's start with pile number one. Pile number one, black tourmaline. All right, pile number one, let's do a part two. Or what is the karma of that, um, of that third party that interfered in your relationship, okay? All right, guys, so let's read your affirmation really quick for this stone and see what it says. It says, black tourmaline, police officer. It says, it is important that everyone follows the rules and regulations established by society and the law. Police your thoughts, words, and actions as you go deeper into your intentions and motives. Establish and maintain a sense of safety and protection for yourself and those around you. So you guys that chose um, black tourmaline in pile number one, you guys, uh, Spirit is wanting you to spiritually protect yourself as well as physically, okay? Um, and I feel like you guys also are being spiritually protected, um, by the divine against like from this third party so this third party um cannot affect you guys in any way let's see let's see what's going on guys let's get some more information um first card i have coming out for the third party that interfered in your relationship pile number one is stand your ground and i have angel of balance okay so with stand your ground and angel of balance um I really feel like you guys have taken your power back, and ever since you've taken your power back, um, you've noticed that things in your life have been back to normal, like things are probably getting like back to normal recently, okay, um, and also too, here with the blue, this could be, you know, a police officer, um, and maybe you guys, your third party was a fire sign, or an earth sign, and this person is getting arrested by a police officer. See the blue? The number 10. Um, it's like they're ending a cycle or something is over for the third party that interfered in you guys' relationship. And with Stand Your Ground, I feel like it's for good. It's permanent. Uh, it's like it can't be undone. So like whatever karma is getting ready to happen to this third party that interfered with you guys, um, it's like permanent. It can't be. It can't be changed. Um, and when this when this person gets this karma, um, they're gonna be wondering why it's happening. Okay, this definitely was a third party, guys. The Queen of Wands is my third party card. Okay, this third party is confused because. Um, well, for one, they're getting ghosted by their significant other, um, and they're also getting ghosted by friends and family members because their friends and family members and their loved one, um, their significant other, has found out that this third party has been lying, and this is why these people are leaving this third party, and this third party is confused as to why her relationship the higher font card is seen as a, a commitment. It also could be the law. Somebody, this third party could be um, under judgment and getting ready to um, have to face the court um, and explain why they did what they did. Okay, like like plead guilty. I don't know, I heard somebody, I don't know. Somebody's guilty for something. Um, and there's a, there's a court situation here and a judge and the police 
So someone's pro this third party's probably getting arrested or locked up uh, for a very long time, like 10 months, 10 years, sentence. They were found guilty. This person was found guilty. Yeah. Child. Uh, the next card coming out is the child card. Um, yeah, this person I feel like... Interfered in your new beginning with your significant other, pile number one. Um, this person's karma, as well as getting ready, is them getting ready to see you go into a relationship, and they're not going to understand why. Um, also, too, with this third party that interfered in your life, could have been trying to keep your your person um, stuck in a relationship because of a child but the child is not is not your significant others um, this, this third party is not able to manifest any any new beginnings um, a message from this third party they are saying I know I broke your heart because um, they did it every day they were constantly causing confusion and chaos in your relationship and acting like a child and sure and you didn't understand why this person what would even interfere with someone that's married or clearly in a commitment this person willingly knowingly did this to you um, and your relationship um, a problem is this person is saying you haunt my entire life in my mind so with this here, I feel like uh, this person is being tortured now, like mentally. Like they can't get you out of their head. Like they keep just going back and forth. Like, I wish I didn't do what I did. Like I got myself in trouble. I think this person got themselves in trouble with you. If you, um, what's the word? Had gotten like a restraining order against this person. Um, or if... this person just just did something um, to a child this person is getting ready to be sentenced and this person is going to be sitting behind bars stuck thinking about what they did to you this is their punishment okay um, and this person is saying that they are feeling embarrassed for what they did because they know they were wrong okay and this person is getting put away and probably for quite some time Meanwhile, you're moving forward, you've taken your power back, you're growing, you're glowing, and your money's looking good. Um, let's get to karma cards here for your person, pile number one. So, let's see. Karma number one for this third party that interfered is their bank account is in the negative. Wow, so yeah, they're losing money, like I said. Uh, money's been, they've probably had to put out a lot of money to a... Uh, <clears throat> a ex of theirs or for custody or for this bail I just feel like somebody's dealing with the cops here the cops got called maybe you and this third party got into it the cops got called there's things going on um, but this but you win the court case and this third party is losing and they're losing a lot of money okay um, second karma coming out for this person problem number one is this person is getting in a car accident Wow Wow so they're losing money and they're getting in a car accident. So now you don't have any money, so now you can't get a car. So now you're left out in a cold financially and materially and spiritually with the Hierophant here. Hmm. This person is like completely cut out from everything, guys. Um, this this third party is like damned to have negative karma their entire life and this is something that's permanent that can't be undone hmm advice from spirit to you guys pile number one um, spirit is saying trust that you are on the right path so guys spirit is just saying to you um, that by you taking your power back and standing you know standing your ground and just holding back from this person and just and just 
you know, or, you know, calling the law, you know, bringing, bringing back peace and harmony and balance back into situations, back into your life. The Spirit is saying you did the right thing. You guys are probably saying 222 a lot for uh, perfect harmony, peace, and balance, okay? Things coming together. Um, but yeah, um, pile number one, everything uh, actually is working out in your favor. Um, you win. You win. You're going to get justice, all right? But that's all I have for you guys, pile number one. Let's move on to pile number two. All right, pile number two is citrine. All right, pile number two, what is the karma of the third party that interfered in your life, part two? Okay, guys, so your affirmation card for your crystal says, are you a numbers person? Take a look at your assets and liabilities and find balance in the way money flows in and out of your life. Maintain mental acuity and focus when you work with numbers. Attention to detail is important today and always. All right, pile number two. So, I feel like um, this third party that interfered in you guys' relationship is really t having to take a really hard look at their finances right now. I feel like this person didn't use, they didn't spend their money wisely, they didn't save wisely. Um, and this person's finances are in trouble um, because this person didn't pay attention. Um, I feel like that's their karma too uh, for being jealous is that this person is losing um, something really, really important that they need to survive because they don't have finances. So we're going to see what that is. Let's see, pile number two. First card I have coming out for this third party that interfered in your relationship is choose wisely and patience okay so guys with choose wisely and patience again like I said I feel like this third party did not make the right decision okay they didn't they are unable like with patience I feel like this person doesn't take the time to sit out and think about the consequences to what their actions are going to be, okay? Um, this person is very hasty. They move too quick. Um, this person does not take the time to sit back and think um, about consequences to their actions, okay? Um, this person, the third party, probably feels like they're flexible, like they can do whatever they want to do. When, and with the seven of swords, like they can just get away with murder. This person feels like they can, they can, they can get whatever they want. Okay, this person could be a player, a cheater, a narcissist. Um, I feel like pile number two. This third party um, pretended to be your friend. This person was very two-faced. You're probably dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn, and I see a Leo. This person is very selfish, very, uh, this person's probably a thief, okay, they don't make the right decisions, they move too, they move too quick, they're, they're too free, okay, um, this person doesn't know when to stop with the death card here, um, doing what they're doing, okay, but I feel like, pile number two, your, this third party's karma is that, um, they're not able to be, a liar and a thief and hurt you or steal from you or lie to you or manipulate you anymore like they used to in the past because a cycle for this third party has ended okay um flexible yeah this third party um they can't move they're tied up and bound this person probably got locked up or is getting ready to for, st for stealing something from you. They didn't realize that this gift, this relationship that you were in, that this person was trying to take from you, um, couldn't be taken from you because it's yours with, this, with the gift. Um, let's see. 
pile number two, a message from this third party as we're saying let's take a trip together. So you guys are probably really good friends, okay? You guys probably went out together, had drinks, you know, took trips or whatever, you know, movie nights, that kind of stuff. And um, you realize that this person um, is a fake friend, okay? Um, and like I said, guys, this person um, had an issue okay this person always felt like they were right like they were winning like they could always get away with what they're doing with hurting you with cheating on you with stabbing you in the back with lying to you this person thought that they they thought that they could always get away with this and that they would always win but that cycle has ended they're now the loser i mean they always were but now they get to see it like in their face and spirit won't let them rest like yeah yeah, because spirit is needing to teach this person a hard lesson about um, how to take a look at, like basically how to learn the basics of life. Okay, how to how to how to ba like balance finances, how to how to actually be a good friend, um, how to actually not be a homewrecker, how to not lie, how to not be a narcissist. Okay, this person um, is having to learn the hard way. Uh, the divine spirit is teaching this person a very hard lesson, okay, and uh, this person s hates it because it's it's required them losing money, okay. Um, two karma cards I have coming out for this third party for you guys. Pile number two um, is, let's see, I'm going to flip it over, alright, it says this third party is losing everything that they love exactly guys like I told you in the beginning I feel like this third party um, has lost money okay finances they've lost their materialistic item they've lost their car they got in a car accident okay um, and now because this, this third party was trying to interfere in your life in your relationship and they wanted you to lose everything but actually their plan backfired with the seven of swords here too and the flexible it backfired like a rubber band I don't know I keep seeing like a slingshot like it got sent right back so this whatever wrong evil doing that this third party was trying to send your way pal number two it got sent right back this person's losing everything um, a, karma number two for them is they will never be able to forget you exactly because you are the hard lesson that they had to learn nobody ever forgets the hardest time of their life that they've gone through that's the whole point is to grow from grow from that hard experience transmute it from a negative memory into something positive into you know if it, if that situation didn't happen to me I wouldn't be who I am today Okay, and this person is not having to sit and be stuck thinking about you every day. Meanwhile, they're losing everything that they loved as well. They can't forget you. Um, yeah, this person played both sides. You guys are dealing with a Gemini. Um... Let's see, guys. I feel like this person has an obsession with trying to play with people's emotions or making people feel like they're not good enough. But now this person is feeling like they're not good enough because everything just got stolen from them. Um, Pile number two, advice from Spirit to you. Um, Spirit is saying... Keep moving forward, okay? Don't stop. Don't give up. You just keep doing what you're doing, okay? You guys, um, just, just know that this gift, this relationship that you are destined to be in is yours, and no one or anything can take it from you. They might think that they can, but Spirit already said it's, it's already been set in stone. It's already written. It's already written for your destiny and your fate. It's written in your Akashic Records for you to be together with this person as third party try to interfere like this person needs to keep it moving forward or else they're gonna have to deal with spirit because spirit is protecting you and your person that's all I have for you guys pal number two let's move on to pal number three 
All right, so pile number three is adventuring. All right, guys, what is the karma of the third party that interfered in you guys' relationship? Okay, so let us see. First card I have coming out for you guys is your affirmation card for your crystal. It says, are you a money magnet and good at managing the basics that life requires? Recognize that you have the ability to manifest great prosperity and abundance in your business. Stay focused on a clear vision and use your business acumen to increase wealth and good fortune through ethical business practices. Okay, guys, so... Let us see how this is going to tap into our reading here, okay? Because pile number three, um, I feel like this third party here, okay, um, recognizes that uh, they will never be you. They could never be you. Um, this third party is realizing that you're on a whole other higher level, way above them. They couldn't even try to reach you if they could. Um, and you're getting ready to get good fortune and wealth. You're probably already fortunate and wealthy. Let's see. Let's see pile number three. Let's go. Um, first card I have coming out for you guys is base chakra and man holding a heart. Hmm. I feel like this third party probably wanted to be with your person, pile number three, or this part, this third party wanted to be with you. But the whole time you were just focusing on your person, not and not this third party. Um, also, too, pile number three, I feel like. You guys, um, somebody is in their in their feelings about you. Some, somebody is realizing how much they actually love and care about you now. Let's see. Another card coming out for you guys is um, not for you. And then I have two of swords. Okay. So, pile number three, I feel like the person that you are in a relationship with or were in a relationship with, um, where the third party had interfered, I feel like your person might have had an ex that they weren't over yet, and they were stuck, like, going back and forth between you and this other person, um, and this person was confused with the not for you, um, like, which option they wanted the most, which is messed up, okay, I understand, um, I feel like this third party, um, caused a lot of confusion in your relationship, and didn't want you to have anything great, okay, yeah, with the Queen of Wands and the Concern card, um, this third party is definitely a karmic, um, this third party could be someone younger, um, older than you, but this person with, with a concern card is very, very childish. This person is someone's spirit is saying you can't trust. The third party you can't trust. Um, a message is this person is saying I'm a Scorpio, so you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or it could be a water sign, okay? Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, um, or the third party could have this in their chart somewhere, okay? Um, yeah, this person is saying they're a secret admirer, like I said, guys. I feel like the third party wanted to be with you, okay, and not your significant other. Um, a problem is... It says increases in finances. So I feel like this person is like a thief. Um, and this person probably only liked you because you had money. There's somebody here is like a sugar baby. Um, concern increases. I don't know why I'm saying the stripper. Somebody, the third party is a stripper. 
I'm a Scorpio, secret admirer, I'm getting like a club, and you're giving like money out. This third party could have been someone that your significant other used to talk to in the past, and this person was a stripper or worked at a club somewhere, a bartender. I don't know, there's tips, there's money being thrown, I see ones, and fives, twenties. All right, let's see, karma. Let's see what the karma is because this person has a, a, a STD concern or a pregnancy concern. This person, uh, this third party, um, they've got themselves in a situation that they, they're not gonna be able to get out of. Let's see what the karma is, guys. Um, all right, so I'm getting this third party is suddenly losing their company or their business. Okay, so like I said, guys, with the, um, the affirmation in the beginning here, okay, um, this person has lost money. Okay, I just saw a lot of money being just thrown. Ones, fives, things like that, okay? Um, and I feel like the money being thrown, I feel like that was you. Like, you were so giving and just overly loving and caring and kind to this person. And this person um, didn't value you, okay, and, and treat you um, with respect. This person didn't have the ability to see what was good right in front of their face, okay? So now this person's karma is that they've lost you um, as a friend um, or lost your person as a friend, um, and this person is losing their job or their business, okay? Um, another karma card for you, pile number three, is this person is losing money. Money stolen from them, like the money. Um, I feel like, too, this person, they don't know how to balance money. They see that you can manifest new things in your life, okay? You're living comfortably right now. And this person's losing their job, their license, their their driver's license, okay? They're losing their rights somewhere. Money stolen from them. Baby mama, I don't know, custody, child support. Money is, get, money is going from one person, from your person to this third party. So you guys, this third party could have been an ex of yours, of your person that you were in a relationship with, or the third party could be an ex of yours. Um, but this person basically is losing everything for trying to interfere, okay? I feel like this person was like a home homewrecker, gold digger. I don't know, I, I just keep feeling like nightlife here. The third party was associated with stuff you do like after hours, okay? Like <laughs> behind the scenes. Um, but I feel like this person is very toxic and um, now, like, since this person had the audacity to try to interfere in your relationship and try to ruin things for you, um, whoever this person, the third party was with or was dating or was married to, um, just took everything from them. They got a divorce or they're separating. This, their person is literally, like, either just put them out, kick them out, let them go, and, uh, because the, this third party was stealing from them as well so karma both sides um but guys advice from spirit to you spirit is saying do not fear this person okay because this person is blocked this person is this third party is not even worried about you right now or they're they're going to stop being worried about you because they're getting ready to lose everything they're not even going to have time to even put energy into trying to bother you anymore okay so yeah you guys just continue being your happy loving lavish self. You guys don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.